Okay, uh, we're going to explain basically the we we already explained the, the upper block. Now we're going to explain the middle block. The middle block is basically the same thing. In karate, it's uh, incredible that today we are still doing the, the things in the wrong way. If somebody throws you a punch, in geometry we explain that uh, the shortest line, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So it's almost impossible that somebody throws you a straight line and you're trying to block you, to block that punch with uh, an arc, okay, a circle. It takes more time and it's more difficult to block. The thing, the more precise way to block a punch is when he throws, he throw a punch, just move it away with the left hand, okay? In that particular way, you access the blind spot of the opponent and you attack here, which is more effectively than moving around Orbit the punch and then try to block that. Okay, but the trick here is the the middle block is like this. So as I as we explained later, uh, I mean before, and the upper block, the middle block is basically the same thing. Okay, somebody grabs you, you change the angle of the arm, then you move right here, and then lock the arm in the opposite direction. Now you have. You unbalance your opponent and then you strike freely without any inconvenience, okay? Now, the same thing applies with the power block in Seiza. If he grabs you, if he grabs you, you move right here, then grab and dislocate the shoulder right there. That's what we call the power block, okay? But it's actually a power grab. The objective is to dislocate the shoulder of the opponent. So, the same principle applies when you shift from here to here. The opponent is actually in front of you and then you shift to the lateral side, the same thing applies. If he grabs you, you move here, but this time you move with your leg to the other side, making the opponent fall then you attack, okay? That's the purpose of the middle block. Thank you very much.